Hey guys, what's up? Angus here. As you can see, I'm inside, got another review today. Now this review is going to be a little bit different than my normal ones where I go out in the field explain the features. Today, considering I am reviewing a gas-powered airsoft gun, uh, I'm going to be doing it indoor considering it is rather cold out. So this is going to be an entire sit-down review, and I want you guys to let me know in the comments if you like me doing sit-down reviews, because I will switch them, because it'll be a bit easier on me than having to pack everything up, get all dressed, head out in the field, and do review. So let me know if you like this sit-down review style. Anyway, today's review is going to be of a very popular gas pistol in the airsoft community. It is WE's GBB M9. Now, this is not my gun. It's my buddy Steve's brought it over, so I'm going to take a look at it. I was shooting it outside. I'm going to take a look and review it. So, let's get into this review. For starters, let's open up this package and see what is included when you purchase the WEM9. The box that your WEM9 is going to come in, standard cardboard box, opens from the front, and it's a pretty flashy box, states the company name WE right up top. It has two pictures, one is of the standard WEM9, the other one, you might remember this because I did review this one as well, this is the WE extended barrel, it's a bit longer, it's a bit heavier, and in my opinion it was a little bit uncomfortable, that's why I sold it right off, and I picked up a shorter M9, which is exactly like the WEM9 that we are reviewing today. So let's open up this box. When you open up the box, this is what you should see. Inside the box, there is your WEM9 owner's manual. This is pretty simplistic. A lot of chainless in here. I'm going to expect that from WE. There's some big pictures, though, to help you out, especially with disassembly when you need to lube your M9. And it is for both M9 variants. The one side is the standard M9. On the flip side is the extended barrel version. Then there's one 25-round M9 magazine and your WE M9 standard version itself. Now this is not the extended version where the barrel would come out to here, this is the shortened version. First thing I notice when I take it out of the box, it is full metal, has a very nice feel and weight to it, feels just like a great pistol. And so this is WE standard M9. Not quite as long, and definitely not as hefty as their extended barrel version. It is complete metal, gives it a very, very nice feel, and this is a great starter gun considering it's pretty cheap, 90, 100 bucks, and it's really popular in the airsoft community. A lot of people own these, and I can see why after picking this up. The feel is excellent to it, and the weight is perfect. Now let's get into talking about some of the features. This is a gas blowback pistol, meaning that when you shoot it, the slide does go back and then come forward with each time you pull the trigger. When you are out of ammo, the gun does feature a working slide lock. It will lock back like that after you shoot your final BB and that's an immediate signal, very helpful to let you know you're out of ammo in that magazine. You should either put the pistol away or just switch mags. To release the slide, simply press down this small lever right here. It will shoot the slide forward. Make sure you don't have your finger in there, that could probably hurt a bit. Now before you shoot that first BB off, you want to make sure your hammer is down. So you can either do that simply by pulling it back like so, or you can do the cooler way and cock the slide back. The gun does have two identical grips on both sides. These are removable. They are serrated to give you a bit more grip when holding the pistol, and they are both engraved with WE's company logo that states military spec combat pistol. Overall, they give you a pretty nice feel when you're clutching the gun. Of course, the pistol does feature iron sights. The rear one I call it the pyramid sight. As you can see, it kind of looks like a pyramid or a castle. Line your eye up simply through the hole. That'll line it up with the front sight, which as you can see is a standard, just a little sight post has a nice white dot on there. It's nice that the company took the time to paint the white dot on there. And the sights are very accurate to the gun, line up directly with the barrel. They are not adjustable, they're fixed, so these are the sights you get. No adjustments. The magazine is of course stored in the pistol grip. To eject the mag, simply press a small button behind the trigger guard. Be prepared to catch the magazine as it shoots right out. It is a 25 round double stack magazine, meaning the BBs will stack by twos as they go up. The spring is pretty easy to hold down, there's nothing to hook it, so you have to hold and load with your speed loader at the same time. When releasing the spring, be careful to cover up the lip, otherwise the BBs may shoot out. The magazine has a nice weight to it, it's pretty heavy, has a gas release button right on the back, gas goes down below. You should know how to put gas into your GBB, so I will not be explaining it, but you simply take the nozzle of your green gas or your propane adapter, press it in, hold it for about five seconds, and then let go. Your magazine will then be gassed up for a couple mags to go through in a couple rounds. Put the mag in, simply put it up, slip it into the pistol grip. This gun does feature a safety. It's right in front of the hammer, like with all M9s. It's this small little lever right here. This is a bit of a con. It's very, very tough. When it's on and you're taking it off, 
It's not that hard. You can simply press it up. When it's off, you'll see that red dot. Remember, red is dead. So your gun is capable of firing, but now here's the hard part. When you go to put it on, it's very, very tough to push down. That may not have seemed like much, but when you get it, you'll notice it. It's not like safety you just flip, flip, easy. This one's very, very tough to place the safety on. The WEM9 disassembles like basically all Airsoft GBB M9s. It's very, very simple. I'm used to it. I own an M9, so I can probably do this in under 30 seconds. First step is is to remove your magazine. Once your magazine is out, you will be able to disassemble your M9. Simply press the small button above the trigger guard on the right side of the gun in. While holding that button down, simply flip the small dial on the left side of the gun down so it's facing downward, and at that point your slide will come off, revealing the innards of your gas pistol. And at that point, you can lube them up with some silicone oil, which I'd recommend purchasing when you purchase your M9. To reassemble, very, very simple. Slip your slide back on. At that point, flip up the little dial on the left side of the gun. Then, simply insert your magazine, and you're ready to get back into the field. So there you have it. There's a WE M9. This is a great GBB if you're a beginner. It's easy to use, easy to lube, easy to disassemble. This assembles in four simple steps. Simply eject the mag, hold down the button, flip the dial, and slip off the slide. You can do that easily in under a minute. Lube up your gun, slip everything back on. The one con on this gun would have to be the safety. It's a bit tough to put on, easy to get off, but after a while it just gets so tough trying to put it on and it actually kind of hurts your finger. Working slide lock is nice, lets you know you're out of ammo. And the magazine, if you get stuck with a leaky WE mag, don't worry. M9 mags are very easy to come by. They're very easily universal. You can pick up a KJW. My KJWs are working this work fine, feed fine, no problems. The grips on this gun, very nice with the WE engraving. Very nice serration. You can detach them and put on your own grips if you have a preferred pair. And just a very nice gun if you're a beginner, because instead of buying that $50 cheap plastic gun, you're getting, for 40 bucks more, 90 bucks, you're getting a very nice, full metal, great feeling WE M9. WE is known for their gas airsoft guns, including especially their SCAR, that... I would definitely buy a WE, wouldn't hesitate about it. The only problem I would have is, is the magazines, because they are prone to leaking. My last M9 from WE, the extended bar barrel version, leaked a lot. Two leaky mags I got, both of them leaked. But overall, this is a great gun to get. If you're on a budget, you're looking to pick up a nice GBB, WE M9 may be the right gun to you. I'm a fan of the M9. They're very compact, very easy to hold, very nice feel. You can get this in this normal version, or just get it with the extended barrel if you want something heavier a bit longer and with a bit farther range and accuracy. So this has been my sit down review of the WE M9 gas blowback pistol. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video.